An earthquake struck Nepal at 11 hours 56 minutes and 54 seconds NST on 25 April 2015 with a moment magnitude MW of 7.8 or 8.1 megaseconds and a maximum Mercalli intensity of IX violent. It was the most powerful earthquake to strike Nepal since the 1934 Nepal-Bihar earthquake. Many thousands of people died as a result, with most casualties reported in Nepal, including on Mount Everest, and adjoining areas of India, China, and Bangladesh. Within minutes of the earthquake, the government of India, via the Indian Armed Forces, initiated Operation Maitri Operation Amity, created humanitarian missions with the primary objective of conducting relief and rescue operations in Nepal. Many countries and organizations have donated aid including the United Kingdom, which has been the largest bilateral aid contributor, China, and the United States, all of which provided or funded helicopters as requested by the Nepali government. Numerous charitable organizations, such as UNICEF and Doctors Without Borders, are delivering aid on the ground. Israel provided a large team of people to the relief effort in Nepal, second only to India. Another earthquake, or major aftershock struck Nepal on 12 May 2015. <inaudible> <inaudible> Worldwide help Bangladesh <inaudible> 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 Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina expressed profound shock at the loss of lives in the earthquake and dispatched a BAF Lockheed C-130B aircraft with 10 tons of relief materials, including tents, dry food, water and blankets carrying a 34-member team consisting of six military medical teams and representatives of the foreign ministry. The aircraft later left the teams in Nepal and returned with 50 Bangladeshi citizens, including stranded women, minors and the visiting under-14 female football team. Bangladesh provided at least 100,000 tons of rice and other relief materials including drinking water to help the earthquake victims in Nepal. Xinhua quoted Bangladeshi Agriculture Minister Martia Chowdhury as saying, we will send more 50,000 metric tons of rice and other relief materials later. Bangladeshi Food Minister Kamral Islam has already been called for initiating an immediate measure in this regard, the Agriculture Minister said. Bangladesh has been sending relief materials to Nepal regularly following the earthquake that killed at least 6,700 people so far, she said. Bangladesh wants to stand beside Nepal as it played an important role in favor of Bangladesh's independence in 1971, Martia said. Meanwhile, four cargo trucks carrying approximately 25 metric tons of essential relief materials for earthquake victims in Nepal left Dhaka on Monday afternoon. The cargoes would travel through Banglabund Fulbari Panatanki Kakavita land route. The relief materials include 3,000 cartons 12 metric tons of dry food and fruit juice donated by local organization PRAN, and 5,000 pieces of blankets donated by leading development organization BRAC, according to a press release of the Nepalese embassy in Bangladesh. Some of the materials were donated by various private companies, charitable organizations and educational institutions and others were collected by Nepalese and Bangladeshi volunteers. China Premier Li Keqiang sent messages of condolence to the Prime Minister of Nepal, Sushil Koirala, and pledged to offer assistance. Xi Jinping, the President of China, sent his condolences to Nepalese President Ram Baran Yadav and pledged to offer assistance, asserting that China was willing to offer all necessary disaster assistance. The China International Search and Rescue Team CISAR, deployed 68 of its members, as well as six search and rescue dogs, to Nepal via chartered plane in the early morning of 26 April, Beijing time. 
On 26 April, the Chinese government announced it will provide CN 20 million yen 3.3 million United States dollars in humanitarian aid in the form of tents, blankets, lots of medicine including spray with helicopters and generators. The Chinese embassy in Nepal launched an emergency response mechanism to help with the Chinese nationals injured in the disaster. Chinese helicopters are also aiding the response. Topic: India. Topic: Saturday, the 25th of April, initial response. Government of India was among the first to respond to the crisis by launching a full-fledged rescue and relief operation, codenamed Maitri Operation Amity. Within 15 minutes of the quake, Prime Minister Narendra Modi responded, directing immediate dispatch of relief and rescue teams, including medical teams, to Nepal. By the same afternoon, 10 teams from India's National Disaster Response Force, totaling 450 personnel and including several search and rescue dogs, had already arrived in Nepal. Ten additional Indian Air Force planes soon departed to join him with further aid. In the immediate aftermath of the quake, India sent 43 tons of relief material, including tents and food. Prime Minister Modi spoke with Nepalese Prime Minister Sushil Koirala and assured him of India's support and assistance. The Indian Army sent three top military commanders, led by Major General J.S. Sandhu to Nepal to coordinate, oversee and fast-track the rescue, relief and evacuation efforts. The Indian personnel are working closely with hundreds of retired Gorkha soldiers of the Indian Army. The Indian Air Force mobilized its Aleutian Eel 76, C-130J Hercules, Antonov An-32 and C-17 Globemaster transport aircraft and Mi-17 helicopters for Operation Maitri. Topic. Sunday 26 April The Indian Air Force evacuated over 500 citizens from Nepal late Saturday through Sunday morning, and hundreds more on Sunday. Ten flights were planned for Sunday. These would airlift Army forward hospitals, teams of doctors, nurses, and paramedics, engineering task forces, water, food, national disaster response force teams, medical personnel and equipment, blankets, stretchers and tents. Prime Minister Modi vowed to wipe the tears of every person in Nepal in his Man Ki Baat address to the nation. An Indian Army mountaineering team recovered the bodies of 19 mountaineers from Everest Base Camp and rescued at least 61 stranded climbers from Mount Everest. Indian Air Force helicopters reached Mount Everest on the morning of the 26th of April for rescue operations. Indian Foreign Secretary S. J. Shankar announced that six more National Disaster Response Force teams would be sent to Nepal in the next 48 hours. He also announced that the aircraft sent to Nepal would not just rescue Indians, but citizens of other countries as well. By Sunday night, India dispatched a further 10 tons of blankets, 50 tons of water, 22 tons of food items, and 2 tons of medical supplies to Kathmandu. Nearly 1,000 National Disaster Response Force personnel were also pressed into service, and a big evacuation of Indian citizens was underway through the road route. The government deployed 35 buses to evacuate stranded Indians in Nepal via two routes Sonali and Raksal along the Indo Nepal border. India started issuing goodwill visas to foreigners stranded in Nepal and mobilizing buses and ambulances to bring them to India by road. Indian Railways shipped 100,000 bottles of drinking water via the Air Force to be delivered as part of the relief effort. Railway Minister Suresh Prabhu later tweeted out that there were arrangements being made to supply 100,000 bottles every day. Air India reduced fares on flights bound for Kathmandu from Delhi, Kolkata, Varanasi, and announced that it would also carry relief material on its flights. Similarly, SpiceJet offered to accommodate 
Accredited NGOs and relief organizations looking to transport emergency supplies and doctors free of charge. Topic: Monday the 27th of April. By Monday morning, the Indian Air Force had evacuated 1,935 Indian citizens from Nepal using 12 aircraft sorties. Indian Army sources said six of 18 medical teams tasked to help with the relief efforts in Nepal had been deployed. The Indian Army was in the process of sending 10 engineer task forces with machinery to clear roads and debris. The troops have taken with them a further 10,000 blankets and 1,000 tents are on standby. The Indian Army was also bringing oxygen cylinders for distribution to medical teams. An inter ministerial team comprising senior officials from the ministries of Home, Defence, External Affairs, and the National Disaster Management Authority have gone to Nepal to coordinate rescue and relief operations. The decision to send the high-level team was taken at a meeting chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Sunday. The team will coordinate with the Nepalese government in the rescue, relief and salvage operations and assess the damage. India is sending unmanned aerial vehicles to Kathmandu to map the destruction in Nepal and help channelize resources effectively. The UAVs will also help in locating survivors in half-collapsed buildings and can be used to look through balconies or windows for any trapped victims. The Indian government is sending teams of senior executives and engineers from state-run energy companies to Nepal in order to restore power lines and ensure uninterrupted fuel supply. In the first phase, a team of five senior executives from the Indian Oil Corporation and more than a dozen engineers from Transmission Undertaking Power Grid Corporation of India have gone to Nepal. By the end of Monday, a further five tons of milk, light vehicles, a reverse osmosis row, plant, oxygen regenerators, medical supplies, blankets, tents, 14 tons of food ITC noodles were sent to Nepal, and personnel including three National Disaster Relief Force NDRF teams, two field hospitals, two Air Force Communication Center, vehicles were also sent. The Indian Air Force conducted extensive helicopter operations, rescuing at least 337 injured people and air dropping 3.5 tons of relief materials in inaccessible places. By the end of Monday, approximately 5,400 Indian citizens were evacuated from Nepal. 30 foreign nationals were also evacuated to India. The Indian government received requests for help from many countries and took steps to evacuate their citizens to India. The Indian Foreign Secretary announced that three additional NDRF teams were being sent to Nepal on Monday. The Indian Army Engineer Task Force Indian Army Corps of Engineers succeeded in repairing and reopening the road from Kathmandu to Pokhara. The Ministry of Defence India established a satellite communication link between the Indian Army Engineer Task Force and the Nepalese Army Headquarters. As desired by the Nepalese Army, the Indian Army set up a task force headquarters in Kathmandu under Major General Sandhu and another in Barpak under Brigadier Gamlin. The Indian Air Force sent four additional helicopters, four HALDHRUV advanced light helicopters and two Cheetah helicopters to Pokhara to expedite rescue efforts. Topic Tuesday the 28th of April by Tuesday the 28th of April India had deployed 18 medical teams and three field hospitals as well as two mobile teams of specialist doctors. With the weather improving, the Indian Air Force and the Indian Army fanned out to remote areas while continuing to transport essential items from various bases to Kathmandu and evacuating distressed persons to India. A 41-member medical team, along with medical supplies, was sent to Nepal from Rajasthan. The Sashastra Seema Bal dispatched over three dozen vehicles, including ambulances and water tankers to Nepal from its border camps. 
The Indian government dispatched a further 220 tons of food packets and dry rations, 50 tons of water, 2 tons of medicines, 40 tents and 1,400 blankets to Nepal. The Indian Army established a 45 bed hospital at Lagankal, Nepal, to treat those injured in the quake. By the end of Tuesday, India had evacuated 20,000 Indian citizens and 170 foreign nationals from Nepal. The foreign nationals included four people from Brazil, 20 from the Czech Republic, five from France, eight from Germany, one from Mexico, 33 from Poland, one from Romania, two from Russia, two from South Africa, 71 from Spain, one from Switzerland, four from Tanzania, three from the United Kingdom, five from Ukraine, and ten from the United States. Despite their widespread help, India's relief operation was not without controversies. Local and international media and citizens accused Indian Army of not obliging to Nepalese authority, carrying out relief operation at their own will without any coordination, and even blocking the only international airport with their military cargo planes waiting to fly Indian citizens back home, which delayed aid and relief from other nations as their relief planes were grounded at various airports in India for days. Another report accused Indian Army helicopters flying too close to China's no-fly zone with the intent of spying. Indian media faced a similar backlash for their insensitive reporting, to which the Nepalese responded by the hashtag hashtag Go Home Indian Media on Twitter which trended within few hours. The total help by India can be summarized as follows, material aid in Operation Maitri, 8 tons of baby food over 100 tons of medical supplies 75,000 vials of insulin over 200 tons of water 100,000 bottles of water every day from the Indian Railways hundreds of tons of food and dry rations 43 tons of relief material 10 tons of blankets several tons of stretchers, tents a reverse osmosis row, plant oxygen oxygen regenerators and cylinders 345 tons of relief material, dry food and essential medicines from the state governments of Bihar and Uttar Pradesh rescue aid, 16 national disaster response force teams, over 1,000 personnel, search and rescue dogs hundreds of retired Indian Gorkha soldiers of the Indian Army hundreds of Indian Army and Indian Air Force personnel military task forces headquartered in Kathmandu and Barpak relief sorties by Aleutian Eel 76, C-130J Hercules, C-17 Globemaster, Antonov and 32 aircraft civilian aircraft helicopters, Mi-17, Cheetah, HALDHRUVALH unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, 18-member medical team 3 field hospitals 2 mobile teams of specialist doctors 41-member medical team from the state of Rajasthan Indian Air Force Rapid Action Medical Team 45 bed hospital at Lagankal Light Vehicles Earth Moving Equipment 18 Indian Army Engineer Task Forces Indian Army Corps of Engineers Indian Oil Corporation Team Power Grid Corporation of India Engineers 36 plus vehicles ambulances and water tankers from the Sashastra Seema Bal 39 member Indian Army team deployed at the Everest Base Camp to search for rescue and assist climbers evacuation of over 20000 Indian citizens citizens and hundreds of foreign nationals by air and road. Other nations Algeria According to the Xinhua News Agency, Algeria has dispatched 70 relief workers, medicines, and other supplies to Nepal. Topic. Australia Foreign Minister Julie Bishop announced an immediate AUD $5 million aid package of life-saving humanitarian support to Nepal consisting of $2.5 million to assist Australian non-government organisations, $2 million to support United Nations partners, and $500,000 to support the Australian Red Cross. Australia also dispatched two humanitarian experts and a crisis response team to the region. Topic. 
Austria Austria gave €750,000 to help with relief efforts in Nepal. The Austrian Red Cross sent several search and rescue staff to the region. <inaudible> Azerbaijan The Ministry of Emergency Situations sent one ton of drugs, medical supplies, tents, blankets and packaged drinking water aboard Berov B-200 aircraft. Topic: Belgium. Belgium has offered search and rescue teams to Nepal. Topic: Bhutan. Bhutanese Prime Minister Chering Tobge expressed his condolences and solidarity with the people of Nepal through social media. Economic Affairs Minister Norbu Wangchuk also conveyed condolences. Wangchuk said that the celebration of World Intellectual Property Day was to be suspended in solidarity with the people of Nepal. Wangchuk added that there was no major damage in Bhutan. Under the command of the Bhutanese King Jigme Kassar Namgyel Wangchuk a medical team of 63 personnel led by the Bhutanese Prime Minister Chering Tobge and the Health Minister arrived in Kathmandu. Bhutan provided a rehabilitation fund of new $0.62 million, $1 million according to the PM's office. Prime Minister Tobge announced that Bhutan's national flag would fly at half-mast to mourn the loss of lives caused by the earthquake. <laughs> Brazil The Brazilian Ministry of External Relations released a note expressing deep sadness and conveying its condolences and solidarity to the families of the victims, the people and the government of Nepal. Topic: Brunei. Brunei has sent eight man relief contingent, comprising two doctors and four paramedics from the Royal Brunei Armed Forces and Brunei's Gurkha Reserve Unit. Bulgaria President Rosen Plevnilev conveyed his condolences to Nepal quake victims on behalf of the people and government of Bulgaria. Topic: Canada. Prime Minister Stephen Harper issued a statement offering heartfelt condolences to the people of Nepal and northern India, and wish ing a speedy recovery to all those injured. The statement clarified that Canadian officials in the region were working with Nepalese and Indian authorities to locate and ensure the safety of any Canadians in the area, while also cooperate with international partners to assess the needs of the affected populations to determine how Canada may most effectively assist with the disaster." Foreign Affairs Minister Rob Nicholson asserted that, "...Canada will do everything it can to assist," and announced that the country was contributing CAD $5 million to the relief efforts. A Disaster Assistance Response Team DART advance group, consisting of 30 experts, departed for Nepal on the evening of 26 April. Numerous Canadian humanitarian organizations pledged to contribute to the relief efforts, and several community groups commenced active fundraising for Nepal. On 27 April, the federal government announced that it would match, dollar for dollar, all eligible contributions made to the newly established Nepal Earthquake Relief Fund retroactively from 26 April until 25 May, and "...offered to expedite immigration applications from the devastated region, as well as extend student, work or visitor visas for Nepalese." 
The same day, the country's most populous province, Ontario, pledged CAD $1 million to the Canadian Red Cross, and a Boeing C-17 military transport took off loaded with additional emergency supplies including blankets, jerry cans, kitchen sets, hygiene kits, and tarps", from the nation's own stockpiles. By the evening of 27 April 150 Canadian troops were on standby for deployment to the afflicted region. At the time of the earthquake, 462 Canadians were registered as being in Nepal. The exact number in the country is unclear since traveller registration with the Canadian government is voluntary. Topic: <inaudible> Colombia. The President of Colombia expressed total solidarity with the people of Nepal and assured them that aid would be sent. Topic. Czech Republic The government of the Czech Republic said that they are giving to Nepal 20 million Czech Karunas aid and sending the disaster response team in Melamchi including 36 medicals and 13 firefighters for a month. Foreign Minister Lubomir Zaorelek expressed his deepest condolences to families and friends of victims. As many as 20 stranded nationals of Czech Republic in Nepal were evacuated. <inaudible> Denmark The government has sent 5 million Danish krona to Nepal, and Development Minister Mogens Jensen indicated that additional aid would likely be forthcoming. It is a terrible situation for, one of the world's poorest countries. He observed, "...therefore it is important for us to be there with support and help." Jensen added that Denmark is, "...clearly ready to contribute more if there is a need for it." On top of the official aid, multiple Danish humanitarian organizations are in the process of raising funds for Nepal. Egypt Egypt's government expressed condolences to Nepal's government and people in an official statement, stressing that it stood with Nepal in its diversity, paid respect to the victims and wished the wounded people a rapid recovery. Estonia The Estonian Disaster Relief Team dispatched a team of 15 rescue workers and medics. The rescuers could not be deployed, because the Finnish airplane that was to depart along with Finnish rescuers was not granted permission to land by Nepali authorities. The government started a fundraising campaign. Topic. Finland The government of Finland donated monetary support of 3 million euros to help Nepal earthquake victims. The Finnish Red Cross launched a fundraising campaign for Nepal, and sent a team of relief workers along with medical and logistical supplies to the region to assist with recovery operations. France On 25 April, the government of France expressed solidarity with the people and government of Nepal. A crisis centre was set up at France's foreign ministry, and a reinforcement team sent to New Delhi. On 26 April 2015, Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Development Laurent Fabius announced that an initial mission of 11 rescuers plus equipment and supplies was departing for Kathmandu that morning. Additional assistance would follow according to the needs and demands of local authorities and NGOs. Topic: Germany. On the day of the quake, the government of Germany pledged to provide assistance. 
On Sunday, the 3rd of May, a team of 52 German relief workers, including physicians, expert searchers, and multiple dog squads, will land in Nepal with a mobile medical treatment center, according to International Search and Rescue Germany. The German Federal Agency for Technical Relief (THW) deployed its Rapid Deployment Unit Water and Sanitation Abroad (SEWA) to Nepal on the 26th of April. Greece Greece has offered search and rescue teams to Nepal. Hong Kong Chief Executive Leung Chun Ying sent a letter of condolence to Nepalese President Ram Baran Yadav, to express his deepest sympathies to the victims of the disastrous earthquake in Nepal on behalf of the Hong Kong government and people of Hong Kong. The Hong Kong government announced on 28 April they would apply for a supplementary provision of HKD $50 million equivalent to $6.45 million from the Finance Committee of the Territory's Legislative Council to enable an injection to the Disaster Relief Fund for making a donation to the Government of Nepal as contribution to the relief work. The chairperson of the Finance Committee of the LEGCO, Tommy Cheung of the Liberal Party, announced on Thursday 30 April that the provision had been passed by circulation, without going through the normal procedure of an open meeting. The Immigration Department had sent three immigration officers to Kathmandu to help locate Hong Kong as reported to be missing. Chief Executive of World Vision Hong Kong, Kevin Chu, said they had raised HKD $10 million. $1.29 million and would apply for HKD $7 million from the Disaster Relief Fund of the Hong Kong government. The money would be used to provide victims with tents, tarpaulins, solar-powered lights, and other necessities. Indonesia <inaudible> 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 President Joko Widodo indicated that Indonesian preparations to assist Nepal were currently in progress, and that the country would be sending SAR and medical teams to Nepal as soon as the Tribhuvan International Airport reopened. On 27 April 2015, the president announced that Indonesia would be donating $2 million to the relief efforts. On 29 April 2015, the SAR and medical team flew with a military plane from Jakarta to Kathmandu with 66 personnel and 6 tons of relief supplies. The plane was scheduled to arrive on Thursday 30 April with a transit in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Iran President Hassan Rouhani offered sympathy and condolences to the people of Nepal and to the President Ram Baran Yadav. Rouhani wished for a swift recovery of the injured and patients for the bereaved families. Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Marzier Afkam also expressed sympathy with the Nepalese government and nation over the deadly earthquake that hit the country earlier in the day, offering condolences to the families of the victims and wishing immediate recovery to those injured in the disaster. The Iranian Red Crescent Society declared its readiness to assist and to cooperate with the NRCS. The IRCS prepared a 40-ton humanitarian relief package to dispatch to Nepal, however, due to the critical conditions of the Kathmandu airport, the package will be delivered through one of the neighboring countries. <inaudible> <inaudible> Ireland Ireland's Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade initially said that the families of at least 51 Irish citizens in Nepal could contact them and that they were working to contact them all. €1 million Euros were subsequently donated for relief. <inaudible> <inaudible> Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu dispatched a search and rescue team that included physicians to Nepal, and expressed Israel's willingness to assist in any way possible. 
Interior Minister Gilad Erdan also affirmed that Israel would assist the families of 24 surrogate babies, nine of them born prematurely, by evacuating them to India and flying them to Israel to continue necessary medical procedures. On 26 April, two El Al Boeing 747-400 jumbo jets carrying an IDF search and rescue delegation, with medical elements and necessary equipment, were dispatched to Nepal. The return flights will carry survivors along with the surrogate infants. Three IAF C-130 Hercules planes left for Nepal on 27 April, with 260 personnel on board, and transported 95 tons of equipment including a field hospital with a ward for premature babies, cutting equipment, electronic devices to help find victims trapped under the rubble, generators, and lighting equipment. They also responded in easing any psychological trauma, especially to kids, with the help of clowns who danced, sang, told stories, shared toys, and joked with affected children. Israel's aid team to Nepal was the largest in manpower of any international aid mission. Topic: Italy. The Foreign Ministry made €300,000 available for emergency aid to Nepal. <inaudible> Japan Within half a day of the quake, Japan's government had offered emergency assistance. The Japan International Cooperation Agency JICA, is sending 70 experts, they are scheduled to depart from Narita International Airport on 26 April, and will serve in Nepal for seven days. The team includes experts from the Japanese Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the National Police Agency, and JICA, along with rescuers, search and rescue dog handlers, communication specialists, physicians, and field coordinators. The Association of Medical Doctors of Asia AMDA, and Chaplainier announced on social networking sites that they have begun coordinating their emergency assistance. The Japan International Cooperation Agency has sent emergency relief supplies worth 25 million yen. <laughs> South Korea The spokesperson of the Foreign Ministry has extended its condolences to the families and victims of Nepal and pledged to immediately donate $1 million, along with a possible rescue team dispatched to assist in rescue missions. On 27 April, the South Korean government announced that it will send 40 search and rescue workers to Nepal. Kuwait. On 26 April, Sheikh Sabah al Ahmed al Jaber al Sabah, Emir of Kuwait, contacted the Prime Minister of Nepal to express his sorrow over the devastation in the latter country, and convey wishes for rapid recovery. The Crown Prince of Kuwait, Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed al Jaber al Sabah, and the Prime Minister, Sheikh Jaber al Mubarak al Hamad al Sabah, sent similar messages. Topic. Latvia On 25 April, the Latvian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, in conjunction with Latvian senior officials, extended deepest condolences and sympathies and wish s for a rapid recovery to the people and government of Nepal. Topic. Lithuania President Dalia Griborskaita and Prime Minister Algirdas Butkevicius both offered their condolences and solidarity with the people of Nepal. Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced that there was at least 60 Lithuanian citizens in Nepal during the catastrophe and that ministry officials were working to contact them. Topic. Malaysia 
Foreign Minister Anif Aman said his country was ready to extend assistance to Nepal once access to the Tribhuvan International Airport has been restored. Later, Prime Minister Najib Razak announced that Malaysia will send 20 medical doctors from Mercy Malaysia along with a 30-man rescue team from the Special Malaysia Disaster Assistance and Rescue Team smart with medicines and medical supplies to Kathmandu by C-130 aircraft. The aircraft will also stand by there to evacuate all Malaysians in the region to Kuala Lumpur. Mexico On the day of the quake, the government of Mexico pledged to provide assistance. Mexico's Red Cross Group, the Embassy of Mexico in Nepal, along with several non-governmental groups like Topos de Tlatelolco, UNICEF México, Cadena México, and Oxfam México, provided aid. Monaco On the day of the quake, the Monegasque government indicated it would send aid to Nepal in the coming hours. Netherlands The Dutch Urban Search and Rescue Team USAR has mobilized a 62 human and 8 dog contingent to send to Nepal. They will arrive, accompanied by a cohort of Dutch physicians, nurses, and engineers, as well as five tons of relief supplies, on 28 April. USAR is very highly experienced, and able to operate independently, so their presence does not deplete local sources of food, water, or shelter. The Netherlands' €4 million Euros financial contribution is being managed by the Dutch Relief Alliance. Founded the day prior to the earthquake, the alliance coordinates the efforts of Dutch aid agencies and humanitarian organisations in order to expedite the response to disasters. <laughs> New Zealand New Zealand sent an initial NZD $1 million in humanitarian aid, and has mobilized 45 urban search and rescue technicians. Topic. Norway The Ministry of Foreign Affairs indicated that Norway would contribute 30 million Norwegian kroner to Nepal. Topic. Pakistan In an immediate statement issued by the Foreign Ministry, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif expressed his deep shock at the reports of massive earthquake that has caused devastation in Nepal and northern India this morning, and, on behalf of the government and people of Pakistan, expressed heartfelt condolences and sympathies on the tragedy that has caused loss of precious lives and properties. The statement also indicated that Pakistan's diplomatic missions in India and Nepal had been directed to approach their respective host governments to ascertain the damages caused and the requirement of relief assistance. While the National Disaster Management Authority NDMA of Pakistan stood by, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif held a telephone conversation with Nepalese Prime Minister Sushil Koirala, offering humanitarian assistance following the midday earthquake. Later that day, Pakistan announced that it was sending the PAF's four Lockheed C-130 planes packed with life-saving emergency equipment, including a 30-bed hospital, 2,000 military meals, 600 blankets, 200 tents, and other assorted relief items, along with military emergency emergency personnel including army doctors, medical staff, and the combined ERRANDMA's special search and rescue teams with sniffer dogs. In a field visit, Chief of Nepalese Army expressed his gratitude towards Government of Pakistan and Pakistan Army's response to the disaster. He personally thanked government and people of Pakistan saying, Kathmandu will remember Pakistan's help.
Topic: <laughs> Palestine. President Mahmoud Abbas offered his condolences to the president of Nepal, Ram Baran Yadav. Abbas expressed his and the Palestinian people's solidarity with the families of the victims, and expressed wishes for a speedy recovery for the wounded, affirming the Palestinian side's willingness to provide all possible help. Topic. Philippines. President Benigno Aquino III issued a statement. Time and again, the world has come together to render assistance in times of dire need. Filipinos from all walks of life have likewise expressed sympathy and offered prayers for the Nepalese people. He said, Aquino has directed the Department of Foreign Affairs to send a team from the Philippine Embassy in New Delhi, India to go to Nepal to meet the needs of Filipinos affected by the earthquake. In a chance interview, AFP Chief General Gregorio Catapang will be sending a platoon of soldiers to help in the search and rescue efforts once given the go signal. The Philippine Red Cross will send staff and volunteers to Nepal in response to the earthquake. <laughs> Poland Poland has sent 81 firefighters of the State Fire Service, 12 search and rescue dogs and 6 doctors of the Polish Centre for International Aid. On 28 April 33 Polish citizens were evacuated by the Indian Air Force. Qatar <inaudible> 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 Two aircraft laden with Qatari aid materials left on Sunday from Doha, Qatar News Agency QNA, reported. Each plane carried 60 tons of relief materials including foodstuffs, medicines, power generators and tents. Two other aircraft will leave on Monday with 120 tons of relief materials, in addition to a field hospital provided by Qatari Red Crescent QRC to deliver medical aid to the affected people. The Standing Committee of Emergency, Rescue, Relief and Humanitarian Aid, headed by Lequia, undertook the task of preparing the relief materials and coordinating with the concerned authorities. On top of this, QRC had on Saturday issued an emergency appeal to raise 12 million Qatari rials for the relief of Nepal earthquake victims and allocated 1 million Qatari rials for emergency relief operations concerning health, sheltering, water, sanitation and restoring family links. Romania. President Klaus Iohannis expressed compassion and solidarity with the people affected by the earthquake in Nepal, stating that Romania joins the other countries of the world who have expressed solidarity with the authorities in Nepal and from the other countries affected by the earthquake. Russia President Vladimir Putin expressed condolences to the President of Nepal, Ram Baran Yadav, in connection with the loss of lives and destruction in various parts of Nepal due to the quake. Russia's Ministry for Emergency Situations offered aid to Nepal in addressing the aftermath of the Nepal earthquake 2015, and assembled a team of over 50 highly skilled rescue workers with expansive experience of operations in areas struck by earthquakes including China, Haiti, and Turkey. The team was supplied with top-notch equipment enabling it to work autonomously and made ready to depart for Nepal immediately. <inaudible> Serbia Prime Minister Aleksandr Vucic sent his Deepest condolences, O N behalf of the government and the people of the Republic of Serbia, to the Prime Minister of Nepal, asserting that T he Republic of Nepal and its citizens can always count on the sincere and friendly support of the Republic of Serbia. <laughs> <laughs> T 
Topic: Singapore. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong penned a letter of condolence to Nepal's Prime Minister Sushil Koirala and dispatched a search and rescue team consisting of 55 members of the Singapore Civil Defence Force, officers from Singapore's police forces, including the Gurkha contingent, also prepared to deploy disaster relief teams to the area. Another relief team was expected to depart Singapore on 27 April. The Government of Singapore kick-started the Singapore Red Cross disaster relief drive with a contribution of SGD $100,000. Slovenia The government of Slovenia decided on 29 April 2015 to give €50,000 in direct financial aid to Nepal following the catastrophic earthquake in the country. The funds will be secured from the budget reserves and will be provided through the United Nations Children's Fund The decision was announced by Prime Minister Miro Serra, who added that Slovenia was also open for other forms of assistance. Topic. Spain On the day of the quake, the Spanish government pledged to provide assistance. On Monday, Spain officially sought India's help in evacuating its nationals from Nepal. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi assured the Spanish Foreign Minister that India will provide all possible help to Spanish nationals in Nepal. By 28 April, as many as 71 Spanish citizens were safely evacuated by Indian military personnel. <inaudible> <inaudible> South Africa On 25 April, the Department of International Relations and Cooperation confirmed that all South Africans in Nepal were accounted for and safe. The next day, President Jacob Zuma sent his condolences to the people and government of Nepal. A search and rescue team with dogs from the South African Police Service was deployed to Nepal. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Sri Lanka. The government of Sri Lanka took steps to provide emergency relief to those affected by the earthquake in Nepal. On 25 April, special Sri Lanka Air Force C-130 Hercules flights departed for Nepal with a stock of emergency relief supplies, along with groups of specialist physicians, other medical staff, and medicines. As of 26 April, the nation had sent 44 military personnel and four medical consultants. The foregoing is to be followed by a team of 156 persons, including 11 airmen, four medical consultants, and 14 sailors, and an aircraft full of food supplies. On 29 April, a Sri Lankan Airlines Airbus A330 flight departed with 97 service personnel comprised 72 Army personnel, 14 Navy personnel, 11 Air Force personnel. The group is taking along a consignment of 17 tons of supplies including much needed medicines, water bottles, dry rations, water purification tablets etc. Switzerland On 26 April, a team of experts, including a physician, a building surveyor, and a water quality technician, were dispatched to Nepal, according to the Swiss Foreign Ministry. <inaudible> Sweden Sweden is giving $1.5 million to help with relief efforts in Nepal. It is also sending 60 search and rescue staff along with dogs to the region on Monday, the news agency TT reported. Taiwan The Republic of China government donated $300,000 to Nepal in the wake of the earthquake. 
Executive Yuan spokesman Sun Lih Hyun has also expressed Taiwan's willingness to help with the rescue and research efforts in Nepal. Thailand Prime Minister Prayu Chan Ocha commanded to send medic teams and rescue teams from the Ministry of Public Health and Royal Thai Armed Forces. On 28 April, one Royal Thai Air Force Lockheed C-130 was flown to Kathmandu with Army personnel and medics for a preliminary assessment for further aid. The mentioned flight also escorted 64 Thais back to Bangkok. On 30 April, two more C-130s were dispatched with 11 tons of supplies, of which included tents, canvas, field table sets, drinking water, canned fish, medicine and medical equipment, blankets, water filters, survival gear and saline solution, 67 army personnel, medics and relief and rescue worker. In addition to efforts undertaken by the government, King Pumipon and Queen Sirikit of Thailand have donated th 10 million bahts, approximately 300,000 United States dollars, through the Rajaprajanagro Foundation. A Royal Thai Air Force spokesman later disclosed that HRH Princess Sarindhorn decreed for five tons of tents, blankets, cushions, gas stoves and medicine to be sent to Nepal by Air Force carriers on the morning of 4 May to be distributed by the Thai medical camp set up in Kathmandu. Also delivered on the same day was a cumulative donation of th 106 million bahts, 3.2 million United States dollars, collected from willing philanthropists. The Royal Thai Navy materially assisted relief efforts. Topic: Tunisia. The president of Enida Movement in Governance, issued a statement it presented its condolences to the state of Nepal and the Nepalese people after this terrible earthquake, he says. And it called on the people to donate and help the Nepalese people, and also it called on the state to participate in the rescue efforts, and called for international forces to assume their responsibility in relief Nepal. Topic. Turkey The Turkish Foreign Ministry offered its condolences to the Nepali people and government due to the losses in the earthquake and has launched efforts to provide humanitarian assistance to Nepal. Turkish aid agencies have sent a search and rescue team made up of 65 people to Nepal. Topic. United Arab Emirates On the day of the quake, UAE President Sheikh Khalifa sent his condolences to Nepalese President Ram Baran Yadav, the nation's vice president and ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, also conveyed his sympathies. On Sunday, the Ministry of Interior sent an 88-member search and rescue team to Nepal. The team is being led by the Director of Abu Dhabi Civil Defense, Lieutenant Col. Muhammad Al-Ansari, and will liaise with UN Disaster Assessment and Coordination staff on site. A second UAE team is traveling to India to purchase medical and food supplies which will be airlifted to Nepal. The chairwoman of the General Women's Union, Sheikha Fatima bint Mubarak, donated the H5 million towards relief to quake victims. Topic. United Kingdom Prime Minister David Cameron expressed condolences and offered assistance to Nepal. Coordinated by the Department for International Development, the United Kingdom government provided 30 tons of humanitarian aid and 8 tons of equipment. This formed part of a £33 million, $51 million aid package, the largest bilateral aid contribution to Nepal, including around 100 search and rescue responders, medical experts, and disaster and rescue experts. Three Chinook helicopters, were transported to the region but returned unused by the Nepali government due to concerns about large helicopters blowing the roofs off houses. 
and £2 million to the Red Cross and appeal by the Disasters Emergency Committee, an umbrella group for 13 UK charities, raised £50 million $79 million in donations from the UK public. Engineers from the British Army's Brigade of Gurkhas began deploying to the region on 27 April 2015 to join others based permanently at the brigade's HQ in Kathmandu as well as with other Gurkha soldiers who were on Everest at the time of the earthquake who helped with immediate recovery efforts on the mountain. They are also providing translation support for other search and rescue teams because they speak both English and Nepali. Topic. United States The White House and Secretary of State John Kerry offered condolences and pledged to offer assistance. On the day of the quake, the U.S. sent aid and released $1 million and a disaster response team to assist with immediate needs. Kerry stated that USAID was activating an urban search and rescue team. On 26 April, Urban Search and Rescue Virginia Task Force 1 from Fairfax County, Virginia was deployed to Nepal from the Dover Air Force Base. Los Angeles County's Urban Search and Rescue California Task Force 2 was also sent to Nepal, and was scheduled to arrive on 28 April. U.S. Army Green Beret soldiers, who were in Nepal undergoing high-altitude training with the Nepalese Army at the time of the quake, will be remaining in the country to assist with rescue efforts, the Pentagon announced late on 26 April. Joint Task Force 505 deactivated after deployment to humanitarian operation Sahayogi Heart on May 26, 2015. The U.S. has sent $10 million in aid to Nepal as well. Vatican City Pope Francis was offering prayers for the repose of the souls of the dead and for those injured as a result of the earthquake. He sent $100,000, as a first installment, to aid the relief efforts. Venezuela The government expressed its deep sorrow to victims in the powerful earthquake in Nepal and offered its expertise in rescue operations. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Vietnam. The government has provided around $50,000 and the Vietnam Red Cross provided another $30,000 along with the deployment of 10 rescuers. However, all the rescuers returned to their home country on 28 April with one of the rescue members citing the Nepal Red Cross did not let them to stay as they were not equipped with the native language or skills to understand the local situation. <laughs> <laughs> Needs Finance Minister Ram Charan Mahat criticized humanitarian efforts, saying, We have received things like tuna fish and mayonnaise. What good are those things for us? There were reports of needing food, tarps, tents, and water. <laughs> <laughs> Government organizations European Union Commissioner Christos Stylianides said the EU was closely following the situation and expressed solidarity. Furthermore, on 26 April, the European Commission announced that it is providing €3 million Euros and mobilising response teams in its immediate response to the Nepal earthquake. The Commission's emergency aid will go towards the most urgent needs in the worst affected areas, including clean water, medicine, emergency shelter and telecommunications. Along with this, the EU civil protection mechanism has been activated. Through it, member states, including Belgium, Finland, Germany, Greece, Italy, Netherlands, Poland and Sweden immediately offered urgently needed search and rescue teams, water purification systems and technical assistance.
The Indian Space Research Organisation activated the International Charter on Space and Major Disasters on behalf of UNICEF, thus providing charitable satellite coverage of the affected region. Tibet — Central Tibetan Administration Prime Minister in exile Lobsang Sangye said at this dark and painful time, words fail to convey how deeply we feel for the people affected in Nepal, Tibet and India." United Nations — UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon asserted that the UN is preparing for a big relief effort. Moreover, President of the 69th Session of the United Nations General Assembly Sam Kutesa also expressed his deep concern and sorrow over the devastation. The executive director of the UN Population Fund, Babatunde Asotimehin, also expressed his deepest sympathy to those affected by the earthquake, saying he was shocked and saddened, and that the UNPF is ready to join efforts to assist Nepal. On 27 April, the UN released a further $15 million in funds to better facilitate the efforts of international humanitarian organizations. Additionally, food trucks are being sent to affected districts outside the Kathmandu Valley. With distribution scheduled to begin on 28 April, World Food Programme WFP, Late on 26 April, the WFP announced that a charter flight from its Dubai depot will carry food and aid supplies to Nepal on the morning of 28 April. As in the early stages of other disasters, the food supplies will chiefly consist of high-energy biscuits, which are small, easy to transport and do not require cooking. World Health Organization WHO, on 26 April, the WHO dispersed four inter-agency emergency health kits to hospitals in Nepal. Each kit contains medical supplies sufficient to meet the health needs of 10,000 people for three months. Additionally, WHO released $175,000 from the Southeast Asia Regional Health Emergency Fund to Nepal's Ministry of Health and Population as an initial tranche of emergency health funding to address the immediate needs of victims. The United States Agency for International Development announced on 26 April that it will contribute e $10 million in assistance for immediate, life-saving priorities in Nepal. Relief organizations The American Jewish Joint Distribution Committee, the New York-based nonprofit organization provided medical assistance through aid workers traveling from India to Nepal. CARE, relief agency CARE provided ground support during the earthquake, assisting people by supplying ready-to-eat meals, clean drinking water and latrine construction. It also created an online relief fund for the earthquake support. Further on 26 April, the European Commission announced that they have mobilized in its immediate response to the Nepal earthquake. The Commission's emergency aid will go towards the most urgent needs in the worst affected areas, including clean water, medicine, emergency shelter and telecommunications. Along with this, the EU civil protection mechanism has been activated. Through it, member states, including Belgium, Finland, Germany, Greece, Netherlands, Poland and Sweden immediately offered urgently needed search and rescue teams, water purification systems and technical assistance. Catholic Relief Services, Catholic Relief Services and its partner organizations have begun procuring emergency relief materials, like shelter kits and sanitation and hygiene materials. Habad, the Habad House in Kathmandu provided shelter, food and medical treatment for hundreds of Israeli tourists in the aftermath of the earthquake. Volunteers distributed hot food to hundreds of Nepalese citizens. Habad also launched the Nepal Jewish Relief Fund to provide humanitarian aid to those affected by the disaster. Child Fund Japan has donated 10 tons of rice and 1.5 tons of dal and salt to support more than 10,000 children and family members. 
Christian Children's Fund of Canada $350,000 in humanitarian assistance funding from the Department of Foreign Affairs, Trade and Development Canada is being used to establish and run child-friendly spaces and temporary learning spaces for children affected by the earthquake. Doctors Without Borders, the organization is sending eight teams of health care providers, including eight surgeons, to assist earthquake victims and distribute supplies. The group says four of the teams were trying to crossing the border from India's Bihar state, a team from New Delhi is heading to Kathmandu and a team from Japan is heading to the Kathmandu Valley. A team of eight staff with surgical skills left Brussels and will set up a surgery unit as well as run mobile clinics. And a team from Amsterdam is departing Monday with medical, water and sanitation relief. Embracing the World through spiritual leader Amma Marta Amritandamayi Devi sent 50 tons of wheat, 2,000 sets of warm clothes and various medicines to Kathmandu as immediate aid for survivors of the devastating earthquake in Nepal. She has sent a senior representative to study the situation on the ground and begin the process of establishing a tie-up with the UN relief team working in Nepal to support aid efforts in the coming days. Her Amrita Hospital's telemedicine unit, along with ambulances, a team of doctors and paramedics are arriving from Kochi, India. Gift of the Givers prepared a 40-person team with specialized equipment to send to Nepal and organized a charter flight to South Africa to evacuate South African citizens. The assistance was estimated to be worth R5 million. Global giving, money donated to support relief operations in Nepal will go toward helping first responders meet survivors' immediate needs for food, fuel, clean water, hygiene products and shelter, the organization said. Once initial relief work is complete, this fund will transition to support longer-term recovery efforts run by local, vetted local organizations. It said. Habitat for Humanity International, the group says its disaster response teams are coordinating efforts with local government agencies and disaster relief partners, and will be assembling emergency shelter kits. Handicap International has been working in Nepal since 2000. As of 26 the April, they have 47 volunteers on the ground distributing wheelchairs, crutches and other mobility aids, and providing help with rehabilitation and logistics. Humanity First, the charity has sent its medical disaster response team, consisting of surgeons, medical doctors and A&E paramedics, and will initially spend 12 days at the earthquake zone. International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies IFRC, on the day of the quake, while preparing to launch an international emergency response, the IFRC released monies from its Disaster Response Emergency Fund, and mobilized resources from its regional hubs, including those in Bangkok, Kuala Lumpur, and New Delhi. International Medical Corps, the organization's emergency response team was on the ground in Nepal, trying to provide critically needed medicines and supplies, including hygiene kits and water purification tablets, to survivors. Teams of doctors, nurses and logisticians will try to operate mobile medical units in the hardest hit areas. Jamati Islami organized a donation camp for help to victims. Jewish Federations of North America, the Coalition of Jewish Federations and Communities focuses on rebuilding and improving infrastructure after natural and man-made disasters. In Nepal, the groups are working to determine what survivors' immediate needs are, and plan to send emergency supplies that will arrive by Tuesday. Lutheran World Relief, the charity, which normally provides technical help to impoverished farmers, committed an initial US$500,000 to the relief efforts. It said its relief efforts would probably include providing cash transfer programs, water filtration units, quilts and personal hygiene kits. MAP International, MAP International, a global Christian health organization, will distribute what it calls an interagency emergency health kit that will treat 10,000 people for 90 days and supply a container shipment of medicines and supplies. 
Médecins du Monde sent a surgeon from Paris, along with two other physicians and some logistical support staff on 26 April. Médecins Sans Frontières, Doctors Without Borders MSF, announced on 25 April that it was sending four teams of medical and non-medical responders, along with 3,000 kits of non-food items and medical supplies to Nepal. The teams and equipment were expected to arrive on the morning of 26 April. MSF sent an inflatable hospital which has a 60 to 80 bed capacity, and consists of two wards plus a surgical recovery room. Mercy Corps, Mercy Corps has been in Nepal since 2006 and has more than 90 volunteers on the ground trying to distribute water, shelter kits, mosquito netting, tarps, cooking utensils, hygiene materials and other household provisions. Oxfam undertook arrangements to send a team of technical experts to the region, with sanitation and water purification equipment. Patanjali Yogpith Yoga Institute organized a blood donation camp. The founders of Patanjali Yogpith, Ramdev and Balkrishna donated blood and asked others to donate. Medicines worth 1 crore rupees 10 million, were donated. Patanjali contributed more than 5 crore rupees in the relief work. More than 30,000 volunteers organized 30 relief camps in all the affected areas. Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sang RSS, and the Nepal branch of Hindu Swayam Sevak Sang sent volunteers to the region to help with rescue efforts in coordination with the government of Nepal. The next day, it was reported that RSS volunteers from the areas bordering Nepal had been sent in to help with rescue works. Samaritan's Purse sent aid to the victims. On 25 April, Save the Children, a non-governmental organization, launched a disaster response on the ground in Nepal, with priorities being, to protect vulnerable children and provide desperately needed relief to families. Secours Populaire Francais, a French non-profit organization, allocated a first emergency fund of €50,000 to assist victims. Shelterbox, a disaster relief charity, dispensed pre-positioned aid in country to damaged area hospitals and medical facilities in Kathmandu. Assessment teams and additional aid starting arriving within 48 hours of the first earthquake. Emergency shelter was provided to more than 15,000 people and future aid committed. The Shiromani Gurdwara Parbandik Committee sent 25,000 food packets every day to Nepal with the help of the Indian Air Force. Translators Without Borders organized a response team with 25 professional translators and bilingual speakers. The team has been translating documents from aid agencies, including UNOCHA, ICRC, the Communicating with Disaster Affected Communities Network CDACN, and others. They translated hundreds of terms into Nepali, Nawari and Hindi for search and rescue responders, translated Twitter messages, distributed first aid and public service announcements, transcribed local language news media, and created an English to Nepali text-to-speech tool. UNICEF fundraising for Nepal is ongoing internationally. As of the evening of 26 April, UNICEF Canada had raised CAD $180,000. The Vishva Hindu Parishad offered extensive support to quake-ravaged Nepal by helping to rebuild residential houses, temples and shrines which have been destroyed in the earthquake. The VHP will also bring orphaned children from the country to India and provide for their education and upbringing at its numerous educational institutions spread across the country. World Vision released a statement. We are initiating a response to meet basic, urgent needs with temporary shelter, food, water, emergency health interventions and other vital aid. International Medical Corps helped the injured and the needy and provided the necessary medical assistance and medicines in regions most affected by the earthquake. Himalayan Healthcare Nepal http colon slash slash www.himalayan-healthcare.org slash closing parenthesis 
Americares, a U.S.-based international emergency response and global health organization, was working in Nepal since 27 April, when its Indian team landed at the Tribhuvan airport. The organization carried out medical camps in affected villages and transported medicines and critical supplies to the country hospitals overburdened with injured and sick victims. The in-house medical team was supported by medical teams from the New York Medics, a New York-based organization, and Global Hospitals, an India-based organization. At present Americares is carrying out rehabilitation work in the country. http wwwamericaresorg who we a slash newsroom slash news slash Americares responding to Nepal earthquake html topic online relief initiatives facebook introduced a safety check feature where users could either mark themselves or their friends and family as safe google launched the google person finder tool for locating persons missing after the earthquake Google executive Dan Fredenberg was killed after the earthquake triggered an avalanche at Mount Everest. Google also reduced the call rates through Google Voice into the country for the next week from 19 cents to 1 cent per minute. The humanitarian OpenStreetMap team HOT was activated by OpenStreetMap to provide remote mapping assistance. The Walters Kluwer Company allowed full, free access for Nepal-based internet addresses to online clinical information resources to support earthquake relief efforts. Sparrow SMS launched toll-free SMS hotline 6040 for getting live messages from locals and mapping the data online to create reports. Americares Topic Telecom Support Nepal Telecom started providing free call and SMS services within Nepal from 25 April. Nepalese telecom company NCEL added credit every day to SIM cards running out of credit and providing 50 SMS for free each day as bonus. Data for Viber calls and Skype is also free in NCEL for limited amount of time as with Twitter and Wikipedia Zero. Indian telecom companies Airtel, MTNL and BSNL offered free telephone calls to Nepal up until 28 April. On 27 April, Skype offered free calls to landlines and mobiles in and out of Nepal. Viber switched off Viber outbilling for Nepali users so that they can call any destination for free. International callers can also call Nepal free of cost via Viber out. T-Mobile added Nepal to its list of simple global countries the morning of 27 April. T-Mobile Simple Choice customers with Simple Global got data roaming fees in Nepal waived through 16 May, as well as the crediting of any data usage since 25 April. U.S. mobile phone carriers Sprint and Verizon waived call charges made to Nepal through 10 May. AT&T is offering free texts and international long-distance calls from the U.S., Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands to Nepal from 25 April through 16 May. All calls placed by Time Warner Cable's home phone and business services customers to landline and mobile numbers in Nepal were free through 25 May 2015. TELUS Canada will provide free mobile, landline, and text messages to and from Nepal until May 10. Sparrow SMS Earthquake Helpline 6040 was set up from Nepal Telecom and NCEL to receive help messages from people. Vodafone Hutchison Australia responded by providing free calls to Nepal for a week to both prepaid and postpaid services. Telstra and Optus Australia announced free calls for certain time period too. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Fundraising and donations. Apple Inc enabled users to make donations through the iTunes Store to the American Red Cross. 
B. J. Acharya, from the American Nepal Medical Foundation ANMF, organized a fundraiser called Nepal Earthquake Relief Fund on the Indiegogo website, in order to raise money for the victims of the Nepal earthquake. Over $100,000 has been raised by over 1,500 people within the first day of the campaign being online. Crowdrise $750,481 was raised by 60 campaigns for Nepal relief efforts. Dalai Lama Trust — Tibetan spiritual leader the Dalai Lama expressed sadness over the terrible earthquake in Nepal. The people of Nepal and Tibetans have been neighbors throughout history and many Tibetan refugees live in Nepal. The Dalai Lama said in an open letter to Nepalese Prime Minister Sushil Koirala, I offer my condolences to you and to those who have lost members of their families, friends and their homes in this tragedy. As a token of solidarity with the people of Nepal, I have asked the Dalai Lama Trust to make a donation towards rescue and relief efforts. Facebook matched every dollar donated up to $2 million. Facebook's matching funds will be distributed to local relief and rescue organizations working to provide immediate and ongoing relief. GoFundMe.com $1,115,617 has been raised by 243 campaigns from 17,805 donors for Nepal relief efforts. Google.org committed $1 million to the response. A Google executive was killed because of the earthquake. The Foundation Beyond Belief FBB launched a new Humanist Disaster Recovery Drive HDR to raise funds for Nepal. As with previous HDR drives, the mission is to provide financial support to secular organizations working locally to meet the post-disaster needs of survivors. 100% of funds raised will be donated to beneficiaries FBB takes no overhead. Microsoft donated $1 million to the rescue and recovery efforts in Nepal. Nepalese American fashion designer Prabalgarung raised thousands of US dollars through the Crowdrise website for relief efforts ranging from medical aid to food and water supplies, temporary housing to rebuilding the nation and its infrastructure. As per the website, the project has reached 71% of its US$250,000 goal. PayPal — PayPal set up a disaster relief campaign with international aid organizations working directly and through local partners to provide relief. PayPal said it would cover all costs associated with donations it received through the site, and also refund transaction fees to qualified non-profits participating in the relief and recovery efforts. PokerStars, PokerStars and Full Tilt Poker, which are the largest online poker card rooms in the world, set up a relief fund with the help of Care International. For every donation they receive via the game software, they will send double donation amount to Care International. Both the company through its players and staffs raised more than $250,000 and so the company will match over half a million dollars. TELUS Canada is donating CAD $100,000 to relief efforts. Uber announced that it was offering a coupon code that would charge INR 10 rupees extra per ride in 11 cities across India to contribute to the Prime Minister's National Relief Fund towards the earthquake. UNICEF has established online donation portals dedicated to its Nepal fundraising initiative for residents of Canada, the UK, and the US. Topic. See also Crowdfunding Donation Emergency management Fundraising Humanitarian aid Humanitarian principles Humanitarianism List of development aid agencies Operation Sankat Mokan